It won't be done until next week, but I'm doing a um, recreation of a uh, display window that was in Kennedy clothing back in 1954, and it was a tribute to Rocky Marciano. And it's, a, it's as close as we can get it to, you know, we don't know what was here because some of us weren't born, but we have a photo from the Brockton Enterprise of Stanley Bowman. We're going to try to recreate it. So that's 136 Main. Should be ready by next Wednesday, the, the 4th. Uh, okay. Right, go ahead. Yeah. Well, the, uh, the downtown fest is scheduled for 12 days. We've already had a uh, car show and a marketplace. Um, we hope this thing can, can grow into something. This is the fifth year, and we're hoping that it'll become something even bigger. We're trying to bring attention to downtown. As you can see, the farmer's market's grown a little bit. We have entertainment coming. Uh, we had a boxing night last Thursday. Um, but for the, the, we also have a uh, history night Wednesday the 5th. I think it's the fifth. No, it's the fourth of, uh, of October. Sidewalk sales scheduled for Thursday. Um, we have, we had rather, at the Hop. It's kind of a rock and roll sock hop from music from the 50s, 60s. Bill Haley and the Comets and uh, stuff that I remember. I'm getting older, and um, but we're just having a good time. It's, it's a, it's a festival that's growing. It's, it's business orientated. We want to trying to help the, the businesses downtown. We had an open house on Saturday. September 30th, um, we have the magic show down at Love's Magic uh, Academy, 246 Main, I think. I'm, I'm going off the top of my head. He just opened up. Uh, Chris Lovedere op opened it. Uh, the library, we have all kinds of things going on. You can go down there any day and there's something going on. History tours, uh, there's a jazz, a uh, little bit of a jazz festival Monday night, the first. The Brockton Lions Club had a um, a meet and greet on the first at the library. Uh, we're looking for new members. That's a month-long thing. If you're interested in joining the Brockton Lions Club, uh, the Brockton Lion uh, Library Foundation actually had their meet and greet on the second. And they're looking for new members. It's uh, must be uh, October. Must be the membership drive month. Um, so we got a lot coming on downtown. We're trying to make downtown Brockton a destination where you feel comfortable coming down, and you can just come here and something's going on someplace. So this is the beginning. We do have a ways to go. But uh, we're having a good time. All you do is you just put, we, these are just pipe cleaners, so we just make a little hoop, and then um, there's different beads going around. There are letter beads, sometimes we find buttons in there. Just, The, the reason we stop here, losing my breath already, <laughs> is if you ever look at the, uh, there's a famous photo of the Strand Theater where the 13 firefighters died and the, um, the roof collapsed on them. Yep. The entrance to the Strand Theater was actually right here where I'm standing. And you'll see on that famous photo of fire hydrant. Obviously, they've changed the fire hydrant a lot since 1941. But the theater was actually in that little cubby hole way, way, way over there. And that's where, right in that corner is where the, the, um, the balcony collapsed on them. This, this was also, if you know local history, Christo's Restaurant yep. Yep. actually started right over there in that lot as Peter's Lunch. And um, Mr. Saganis was a very hard working young man when he moved over here, who worked his way up from a uh, busboy to a very wealthy yep. man and uh, very generous. He donated a lot of money back to Brockton. Good guy. Um, the home bank building, which is right there, a very beautiful building, used to be on the corner, and then it slowly moved back until it, where it is there, Full Street. <laughs> and it was a private academy until the, the city took it over and then opened it up to the public. So that was way, way back. Um, I, I wish I had, maybe I did throw the date down. But um, 
the second high school was where the current library is today. And the third high school was at the top of this hill over here. This is now Frederick Douglass Ave. But at one time, it was called High Street. So anybody know why they called it High Street? Uh, high school? Yeah. High school. Yeah. They didn't, yeah. We didn't overthink things 100 years ago. <laughs> um, same thing with Court Street. There was a court on it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so I'm just pointing out all these first as we go. There's hundreds. Plaza Street was the first electrically powered fire station in the country, again, by Thomas Edison. Um, the powerhouse, the power station was right where the Metro South building is now. Brockton was the first city, city to be wired, a three-way wired system, underground system. Um, as you can see, there was no telephone, there's no telephone poles on Main Street. There hasn't been any telephone poles probably forever. I never um, noticed that. No, yeah. it's all underground. Yeah, well, those are lighted from underground, though. Oh, see? Wow. Yeah. And if you, if you remember, two years ago, I think we had some manholes blow up on yeah. us. <laughs> and right in front of me, actually. Well, that's where the wires are, all underneath, and we had a big problem. So as far as I know, we have all new wires on the Main Street, and uh, the whole downtown is all rewired. This is, this is the downtown Brockton Museum. It's been here officially about a year and a half. I've been here myself for probably about six years with a hobby shop, and then I changed it over to a uh, tourist welcome center and a museum, Brockton history. There's Lionel train layouts running, not at the moment, there's no being there, I hope. Um, and there's model kits in there, there's all kinds of hobbies, Brockton history, classic toys, uh, all kinds of nice, neat things. This is part of the Brockton first here. See the first department store, Santa Claus, was from, from Brockton, James Egger, in 1890. The, um, this is the trolley. This is from the trolley lines. They call it like a coupler. It keeps the trolley lines. It's not a railroad piece. It's a, it's a trolley piece. Um, the shoes, of course. The, the railroad was built in 1896. We were the first city in the country to eliminate all grade crossings. There is no grade crossings in Brockton. Grade crossings are the, um, the road, and then the, the railroad goes right across. We were the we were the we had the two of the biggest companies in the world right here in Brockton at the same time, the uh, Douglas Shoe Factory and the Walkover Shoe Company, and we called them the bookends of Brockton because one was on the south side, and one was on the north side, and they were we're not going to get into it, but they were so they were so opposite. One was a Republican, one was a Democrat. One wanted to run for office, and one didn't want anything to do with it. One guy wanted to be in the the limelight all the time. One guy hated Edison, the other guy loved Edison. The, the guy that didn't like Edison, he built his own power plant in Campello. <laughs> but they were friendly. They, weren't, they didn't hate each other, and they hung out at the same clubs. Um, the guy on the north side, Mr. Douglas, he had his commercial club. He didn't build it, but he was a member of the commercial club. Uh, George Shock, George E. Keith, he had his walkover club on the south side. They each had their church, first congregational, second congregational. And they literally built them. They were very generous people. Um, so they, it's a contrast in styles. Mr. Keith didn't want anybody to know what he looked like. Uh, Mr. Douglas put his image in every shoe. So he was the first one to ever do that. The first, <laughs> the Brockton first. He was the most recognizable man in all of uh, the, the whole world because his shoe was in, inside, his image was inside the shoe. So he was the first to do that. He was also the first and only governor to come from Massachusetts, Massachusetts governor, 1905 approximately. And then that he was, they also had the first governor's day at the Brockton Fair. So the, these Brockton firsts just keep on, they just keep coming. Yeah. 1918, this building, the, the building before. Yeah. And this was the hub of Brockton. And as you can see, the, a lot of the stuff is still there. Of course, the sign up. But I, I know Mr. Rom is actually a son. He may, he may still have the, uh, the R. And um, we put the tables out the best we can and kind of recreate it. And uh, we, we only thought of this maybe two weeks ago, Liz, or something like oh, that. Wow. So, I, yeah, I just mm. found this. We didn't know, but yeah. Rom sold um, kitchen appliances. Yeah, he did. We yeah. Just, yeah, we just figured that out.